Niggas be thinking I'm deep, intelligent. Ladies and gentlemen, how you guys doing? This your boy, Mr. J, coming all the way. What's good, your dick gang? What's good, motherfucker? What's good, young world? We are. Right? Man, I hope everybody's staying safe, man. We are in uncharted territories, you dick. Tomorrow is not given. Tomorrow is not promised. Man, we gonna be checking out J. Cole, man. Snow on the bluff. You dig this, brother, J. Cole? If you don't know who J. Cole is, man, you need to run and hit your head on the wall, man. If you've been listening to music, I'm talking about the hip-hop genre. I'm talking about entertainment in general. And you don't know who J. Cole is? Get your ass out of this place right now. You dig? Just shut, just go. Now, man, we're going to be talking about snow on the bluff. Some dipshit that this brother dropped a couple of hours ago, man. Let's not waste a whole lot of time. Let's get into it. And I appreciate y'all coming through. You dig? Let me back it up and just start. Let's go, man. Niggas be thinking I'm deep, intelligent, fooled by my college degree. Okay. He was average. There's a young lady out there. She way smarter than me. They be thinking I'm deep. Intelligent, fooled by my college degree. My IQ was average. The even, there's a younger lady out there, she may be smarter than me, or she's smarter than me, way, way smarter than me. This brother likes to, his lyrics are always woke, man. For real, man. He is always in touch with some, some, some energy, man. Before he spits on the mic, he doesn't just go in there, you know, he goes in there for a purpose to lay out the message, to spit his heart out, to bring, to trans, to transfer that in the soul, the essence to you listeners. Now, I mean, we go, we go, we go, we going to be checking this shit out, man. He did like that. Let's back it up. Yeah, she way smarter than me. I scrolled through her timeline in these wild times and I started to read. Okay. She mad at these crackers, she mad at these capitalists, mad at these murder police. Ooh. She mad at my niggas, she mad at that ignorance, she wear her heart on the sleeve. Ooh, she, she mad at everybody. So this lady who is way smarter than me, man, I I, I, I came on a, on a timeline and I was reading through, man. She mad at everything that is happening right now. She's mad at this cracker police, man, this bad seeds killing blacks. This is a situation that is hitting hard, man. But America's learning it the hard way. That was the kick. Even though they've been killing... Can y'all believe that? Even though as we go through this period of people manifesting, breaking shit up. You still got cops killing folks. Just to tell you. They're like, we don't give a ish, man. We, man. We don't care, man. We brought them here so we can take them out. That's the mentality that you guys portray. So this brother saying that this sister, she's mad at everybody. She mad at everybody. The cops, the homies that she mess with, everybody. So she puts, she wears her heart on her sleeves. You dig? Let's back it up and keep going, man. This is deep. She mad at that ignorance. She wear her heart on the sleeve. She mad at the celebrities. Low key, I be thinking she talking about me. <laughs> I ain't no dummy to think I'm about criticism. So when I see something that's valid, I listen. But shit, it's something about the queen tone that's bothering me. There's something about this Quinton that is bothering me. She mad about everybody. She don't like everybody. I'm talking about celebrities. But in the down low, I'm thinking like she's talking about me. Because I am a celebrity. Low key, I'm thinking she's talking about me. I'm not a dummy. To think I'm above criticism. Everybody is, you could be criticized. I don't been criticized and I keep getting criticized every day. But I, you know, I shake it off. We move on. You dig, but shorty, she, you know, she criticizing everything, man. You got to question everything. You dig, but he like, man, he knows that, man. I say, human being, man, you you are prone to criticism. You dig? Let's go, man. By the queen's home, it's bothering me. She strike me as somebody blessed enough to grow up in conscious environment with parents and nobody struggle for liberation and in turn they provide her with. Okay. She blessed enough to grow up in the... Uh, uh, in, in, in an environment where people are woke, conscious environment, parents teaching her. Now, see, we got to teach our kids to grow up in this type of environments. Kids need to be taught how to understand, need to understand that it's not all what it seems, man. Life is not all sh bed of roses. So this sister, this brother is admiring, man. She grew up in that kind of environment. You dig, man. He, he. He always, the poetry level of this brother is deeper. Let's go. With parents and nobody 
struggle for liberation and in turn they provide a wit A perspective and awareness of the system and a fairness that afflicts them And a clearest understanding of what we got to do to get free and the Understanding what we got to do to get free The freedom that affects us Man But yo The beat though she strikes me like somebody blessed enough to grow up in a conscious environment. The perspective and awareness. When you are aware of certain things in life, the awareness of the system and the unfairness that afflicts them, man, you, you see life differently. Now, I mean, I travel a lot. And when I go to a certain country and I stay there for a whole lot of time, and I get, I start getting pissed off about certain things about the system and people ask me well john just you know just leave you know just go with the flow but i don't go with the flow like that now i mean but this is that's understanding that shit and the clearest understanding of what we got to do to get free the frustration that feels a word seems to come from the fact that most people do not see and they do not understand that the system is this messed up of course, a bunch of white folks still think that the system is not, it's not a, there's no systemic racism in the U.S. I'm not going to mention the, the uncle in the up in the White House who boldly say that ish. But you are the dumbest and the most retarded official working in that White House to stand on camera and say that there's no systemic racism in the U.S. I don't know what kind of shit you smoked. But your suit looks like you've been you packing some weed inside anyways. You did let's back it up and go. Just because you are woke and I'm not, it doesn't give you the right to talk to me like you are better than me. You just have to help me get better. Get woke, educate a brother. You dig? Man, some people, when they get woke, they start being so ignorant. I mean, it's facts. So, brother is saying, man, let's go, man. These shackles will be locked in the fiscal way more. Look, it took 200 years for our ancestors to be free. How you gonna lead when you are attacking the very same niggas you are really supposed to lead? That's crazy, man. But how you gonna do this when you attack the same folks? You really need to shit that we are supposed to need. People who do not even understand what you're saying. How do you attack them when you're woke? That's crazy, man. But you see, but bro is still on her timeline. Browsing through and this is his opinion that he's he's speaking from the sister you dig and he was like man It took over 200 years for our sisters to be free man It's crazy these shackles be locking the men be, be, These shackles be locking in the mental way Man, it's gonna take a it's gonna take a gradual process, but how long? How long? Can't grow up for us like overnight. Hit the ghetto and slowly start planting your seeds. Fuck is the point of you preaching your message to those that already believe what you believe? Almost a fucking retweet. Most people. What is the point in preaching your message to those who already believe what you believe? It's no point. If you know something, if you are woke and I'm woke, you ain't supposed to be preaching to me. You're supposed to be preaching to somebody who doesn't understand and who is not woke yet. Facts, man. Facts. What he's saying is true, man. I look at freedom like trees. Can't grow a forest like overnight. It grows gradually. Step after step. Step. Everything is, is a gradual process. You dig? But we must be willing to initiate this process. Because if we do not initiate this process, it's crazy. So you need to hit the, the you need to hit the ghetto and slowly stop planting these seeds of freedom, these seeds of wokeness to the brothers who do not even know nothing. Because when you keep preaching to the brothers who already know some, you are wasting your time. Deep man, let's go. You got all the answers about how you gonna reach. If I can make one more suggestion respectfully, I would say it's more effective to treat Facts. children, understanding the time and love and patience that's needed to grow. This change is inevitable, but ain't none of us seen this before. Therefore, we. This is in a, in a, This is something that's gonna go down. 
See, brother is still on the sister's timeline, and that sister be, I'm sure from what he's picking from the sister, is too much, too much of that heaviness, too much of that ish, too much of it. He said, I'm on some fuck a retreat. Most people is sheep. You got all the answers, but how are you going to reach? It's crazy, man. If I could make one more suggestion, man, respectfully, I would say it's more effective to treat people like children because children do not understand none. And when you're dealing with children, it's like you're trying to educate them. You're trying to teach them. You're trying to school them. Rather than, you know, but some people don't want to be schooled, though. Understanding that the time and the love and the patience that is needed to grow, this change is inevitable. Change is what change is constant. Like Sam Cook says, change gon' come. Always. But ain't none of us seen this before, this kind of change. Therefore, we got to learn everything as we go. You learn as you go. Let's back it up and keep going. But y'all, you see, you see the vibe to the song? Slowly flowing, but you know, he's spitting. Knowledge. Three. We have to learn as we go. I struggle with the thoughts daily. The thoughts of, you know, black lives matter. The thoughts of police brutality. The thought of systemic racism. The thought of... The judiciary system made intentionally to incarcerate black men. You dig? See, it feel like a slavery that somehow done safe enough going to buy this way out of. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. When you are when you, when you are super woke, sometimes when you walk out in public and you see the ignorance of some folks, you get offended. You dig? You get super offended. Let's go, man. Everything. I feel like, I think just maybe in my pursuit to make life so much better for me and my babies. Y'all, I could. I could. Think about the other folks, though. But it's like you make money to buy yourself out of slave. Like, you come from the ghetto. You, you move out of the ghetto, out of the hood, you know. I don't betray the very same people that look after me. Like I'm some kind of hero. But then when you're trying to, you know. Some folks be like, I'm just going to make money and take, take care of my family and my babies. And they fail to understand that way they were coming up. They grew amongst these people. That is the feeling of betrayal that most of these black folks be feeling. You dig? Let's go, man. But it look at me like I'm some kind of a hero because of the zeros that's next to the commas. But look here, I promise I'm not who you think. Ran into this nigga outside of the store yesterday. He said something that had me like, wait. <laughs> I met this old me outside the store yesterday. He said something that got me thank. All this... Zeros with the commas doesn't actually make me who you think I am. Some people think that some folks, when they are rich, they are, how can I say, untouchable or unreasonable. Folks that cannot have a normal conversation. But he said, no, that's, that's, not, that's not who I am. You dig, but let's see. He was like, oh, appreciate what you've been doing, my nigga, that's real. But damn, why I feel faker than snow on the bluff? Or maybe because deep down I know I ain't doing enough. Oof. The dude at the store he met yesterday. I appreciate all what you're doing. I appreciate that. But damn, why I feel like faker than snow on the bluff? <laughs> well, maybe because deep down I know I ain't doing enough. Now, the situation of uh, Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle dropped something. 840 something. A comedy, but dude spoke a lot. And Don Lennon was asking the, all these black artists to come out and speak. Because it seems like they are not doing enough. Because they, they, they really do need to come out and speak. Like, as, I don't know, man. Kind of like, if Oprah comes out and speaks, takes a stand. They don't come out. Most of them are free. They know that they are protecting the jobs, their positions. You they... <gasps> If we speak out, man, when, when everything is all said and done, we might not get movie roles. I might not get deals because I spoke out against the white folks handling, you know, head of the company, shit like that. You know what I mean? Wow. How, how would you?
would you believe somebody will even be able to spit on this kind of just instrumentals, man? But that is J. Cole for you. Wow. The sun is shining today. That's the bridge, man. If you walked into a bar and this was playing, you wouldn't think that it's, it's actually J. Cole. It's actually a rapper on it. But see, this is, this is what J. Cole brings to the table. I hope we'll find the reason why we often sob, go and cry. Take my hand, man. Walk with me. Bond with me. You dig? I was once a child, I've gotten no, but then I know I'm still a child in God's eye. You're still a boy, man. You're always going to be a boy. Kind of like to your parents, man. But the Bible tells us our parents are our gods on earth. You dig? No matter how old you get, you're always going to be a child to your parents. You dig? Though I've been trying to let the time heal my mind, I was once a child, but I've gotten no, but see? Deep endurance to survive help me thrive ladies and gentlemen this was a dope song this song has a whole lot of impregnated meanings to what is happening now in the US the manifestation the killing of blacks the system in locking up of black brothers the system in jailing of folks a black guy does the same crime as a white guy the black guy gets 20 years the white guy gets one two years probation facts that's my time ladies and gentlemen that was j coleman snow on the bluff dope deep deep this brother is super woke you smell me i pray that bro you holler at the sister after leaving her timeline after retweeting just holler i said no dm like yo sis let's vibe i mean that's my time you guys be good man i love you do not forget to check out the videos on the screen now i mean we're gonna be bringing a whole lot baby you dig keep your head up we are together black folks black lives always will matter you dig it will always matter Stay strong, man.